Hello guys, today we're gonna work with an OR function. Normally inside Tasker you can use several contexts and use the AND function. But today we're gonna use an OR function but it will be a little bit tricky. So let's do it. Let's make first an AND function inside the context. So I go to Tasker click the plus button plus we are gonna add name I don't care what the name is this is just for testing so you would understand how to add uh, a context to your profile so let's make a task edit plus and let's say alert and let's say uh, pop up and as text we use oh, Hello. Okay, go back. That's quite easy. And let's say a, a profile. We use if states, for example, nuts, uh, Wi Fi connected. Go back. Any Wi Fi. And let's at that task. This is quite normal what you see. Everybody knows how to do that or should know that. So let's add another context. Adding another context can be done by long pressing your profile. So when I long press Wi-Fi connected you will see the add function when I click on that. And let's say states and we say for example nuts and bluetooth status i'm gonna set on okay so what does it mean when my wi-fi is connected any wi-fi connected and my bluetooth is on i will trigger the this task and the this task is just a pop-up of a text so let's try it Go back and I'm back on my home screen and you see my Wi-Fi is connected uh, but my Bluetooth is not connected so let's enable Bluetooth and you will see the pop-up hello so you see it works also in your notification bar you will see that that profile is now active. Inside Tasker, you will also see that it's in green and that means also that it's active. So a profile is active when it's green. I hope you will understand that. That's very important for the next case. So you know right now how to use an extra context or adding context. Now we're gonna use an R function, but when you long press on your uh, profile, you can't trigger any R function. So we have to do it on another way. Let's delete that task and profile and let's start an R function inside task. Now I'm gonna take some notes in my notepads, so you would understand everything. In my case, I have two access points. EP is DR1 DR and DR2. Those are my access points. That's just for information. I'm gonna use that later on in my profiles and tasks. What we are gonna try to do is if I'm connected to DR, DR1 or DR2 do some task. That's the main thing I want to do. It seems very easy. 
but it's not that easy. You can solve it in another way, but I'm gonna explain it this way. First of all, I'm gonna disable my Bluetooth. Um, Bluetooth off and go back. Okay. So, if I'm connected to my first access point or my secondary access point, I'm gonna do some tasks. The R function is not available in site tasker so we have to do any tricks to enable that the first thing we have to do is make a dummy task a dummy task means normally that the task is empty but as you know in tasker tasker doesn't allow you have any task that is empty so you have to put something inside it i'm gonna write it down Task is dummy and inside the task is just a wait one second. And that's all what we are going to do. And we're going to make two dummy profiles as well. Um, the first profile will be uh, profile, profile, profile one. Uh, connected to DR1 if I'm connected to DR1 I'm gonna execute the task dummy if I'm connected to uh, DR2 I'm gonna execute the dummy proof uh, the dummy task that's what we are doing I hope it make any sense uh, you will see that right in action right now. Let's make it. Let's we call it dummy. Dummy, okay. And we add an action, and that action will be just the task inside. And we use the wait function, and we use one second. And we go back, go back. So our dummy file is made. And we need also to dummy profiles as well. So we click on profiles and we click on add. And we use states and this one will be nuts. And we use Wi-Fi connected and we give an SSID um, Wi-Fi underscore DR1 okay go back and we use the dummy task that's it gonna rename that Wi-Fi 1 save it gonna clone that long press clone rename and my SSID would be also different too So what does it do? When I'm connected to my first access point, it will be trigger dummy. And dummy is just a wait function with one second. If I'm connected to my secondary access point, it will be also trigger dummy. And that's just also one wait second. Let's try it. And open my notification bar you see Wi-Fi 1 is enabled and I'm connected to my first uh, Wi-Fi network so we go back to Tasker open Tasker again so you also see Wi-Fi 1 is in green as I said before when a profile is active it will be green so Wi-Fi 1 is active now we are gonna make our main profile and our main profile 
will say if I'm connected to do, uh, the one or the two do some task. So let's do it. Let's make a new profile and I'm gonna use this time state and we're gonna use variables. A variable value and we're gonna use also the value inside tasker that show me the active profiles. That value will be all in uppercase P active. It stands for profile active. And we're gonna say matches. And here in the value we're gonna say the R function. So some people will know that, other people doesn't know that, but if you use, uh, for example, if you search for something and you use the point and then the star, the star is a wildcard. We're gonna use the wildcard also inside our value. So let's do it. In our value, we're gonna use star. Then we're gonna use Wi Fi one star slash star Wi Fi two and and with a star. So what does it do? So when any profile like Wi-Fi 1 is enabled, R, the slash, Wi-Fi 2, any profile like Wi-Fi 2 is enabled, do something else. So let's go back and let's make a new task. I'm gonna call that uh, Wi-Fi settings okay and what we are gonna do inside the Wi-Fi settings you can put your actions for this example I'm gonna use only one pop-up plus alert pop-up and uh, let's say uh, hi uh, I'm uh, connected to Okay, and I gonna rename that. Long press A. Choose. Choose. Wi-Fi. Okay, what does it do? When my active profile matches Wi-Fi one or Wi-Fi two do my Wi-Fi settings and my Wi-Fi settings is just a pop-up in your case you can choose whatever you want inside the Wi-Fi settings for example I'm connected to your Wi-Fi uh, mobile data is off lock screen is off etc etc the advantage of this one will be if you want to change one thing, you have only to change the Wi-Fi settings. That's quite easy. You control everything inside one task, Wi-Fi settings. So let's do it. You see, I'm connected to Wi-Fi 1. Normally, it would should trigger my Wi-Fi settings and it would say I'm unconnected to your Wi-Fi. So let's go back and let's try it. Go back and it said I'm connected to your Wi-Fi so it's work. So you see here I'm connected to my first Wi-Fi access point I'm getting a very poor connection so when I change my Wi-Fi and I gonna use my secondary access point connect go back and let's wait
So it said also I'm unconnected to your Wi-Fi. So it works. So you can use the OR function as well. But as I said before, it's a little bit tricky to do that. So when I go back to Tasker, you see two profiles are active. And this is active because one or the two Wi-Fi points are also active. In this case, using an R function, you don't have any interference problems. So this could be used in any profile you want. I hope you learned something from this. And if you have any questions, just ask me on my Google page. And thank you.